Cool. So, this is the um, exhaust manifold off of my 2009 Chevrolet Colorado. And from the picture, you can tell this is the um, inline 5 with the 3.7 motor. Now, I had to remove it because of this. There's a huge crack in this bastard. So, um, so it's doing all kind of codes and had me a little confused for a while, you know. Yeah, I was working on the um, throttle body, cleaning it out, and the yeah, PCV, I was you know, trying to work on that. But this huge crack gave me a lot of problems where um, it came up one code, um, reduced power and stuff like that, and you know, damn near shut the, shut the truck down. I mean, literally. So, um, but it's, it's cracked there. And I rolled over for you so you can see. Another spot where it's cracked. Yes, there's a crack there. So it, that went all the way around, but there's another crack somewhere else that I haven't, I forgot where it is, but oops. It's got a few cracks on it. And I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna try and salvage that. I mean, just as heavy as it is, you know? It's pretty heavy. And with cast iron, there's no sense in, you know, trying to repair it because it's just gonna happen again. It's really heavy. This is the new one that I got from uh, Pace Setter. Mandrel bit. Um, so hopefully it has better flow. Uh, of course, it came with the catalytic converter just like the Owen had. And I bought the AC Delco um, oxygen sensors, brand new to put on there because I wasn't about to pull those off and use them again. Truck's got 170,000 miles on it, so I'm pretty sure the oxygen sensors are worn out. And new ones won't kill me anyway. I got them on sale for like uh, 40 bucks a piece. So, and I'm just about ready to do the install. Now, one of the things to highlight is that the uh, this pace setter one is much lighter than this cast iron one. But you know what threw me for a loop was that um, the bolts are metric, eight millimeter, um, 125, I think by 30. And they came out of it, and that's the ones that came out of it, but you know, kind of small, you know. And I'm looking at the uh, bolt holes here, and that's way that, that bolt hole is a lot bigger than the actual bolt is. I mean, um, I think I'm gonna get one of the old ones to show it to you, but you can see how big they are, you know. And I was tripping because I bought I bought the new one, and I'm like, geez, you know, these bolt holes are like absolutely huge. And I was trying to figure out why. Well, they copied, I mean, when they made it, they copied the bolt hole pattern from off here. And you can see that those are large and those are large. But the bolts that came out of there, eight millimeter, you know, in diameter, and that's a huge hole. And you, even with the flange bolts, I have no idea how this thing held on for dear life. I mean, when I took it off, I lost, it cracked, it broke one bolt off in the head, and I got that one off pretty easy, you know, just for a pair of pliers and, you know, wiggling it back and forth. Luckily, the bolt head just broke off, and it didn't break off into, you know, the cylinder head, so I got lucky in that respect. So, um, if you got codes that come out, you know, reduce power, and, um, and you can't, you know, you join all the other, you know, I can't remember the exact P codes that were on it. But if you're throwing those codes, you know, as far as like with a catalytic converter, stuff like that, that's probably your biggest problem is you probably got a, you know, a crack in that, um, the crack in this cast iron um, um, exhaust manifold. So, I mean, I could have went and bought another one just like it, but I was like, I didn't want to go through the same shit over again. So, like I said, I went and got something much better, manual bit, stainless steel, and it's lighter. So, um... I'm going to attempt to put it on later on this day and we'll see how that works out. Um, so just in case any of you guys are wondering, because trust me, there are not a lot of videos out there on YouTube that tell you how to um, take it off. Um, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, once you take off that heat shield, you'll see this sitting by the bundle there. And once I took off that heat shield, I saw it. I saw the crack. I was like, shit, no wonder, I, no wonder it fucking you know, gave me those problems. So... And taking it off, it wasn't that hard. The bolts came like right out, except for that one 
on the very very forward part of the uh, of the head that was the one that snapped off so and like I said I got that one out easily with a pair of um, pair of uh, um, vice grips and just you know wiggled it back and forth until it finally came out and I was able to get some um, channel locks around it and pull out the rest of the way so um, yeah if anybody having those problems with your 2009 um, i5 3.7 um, Chevy Colorado, you know, that's probably gonna be your issue, and I'll label it in the video, and I'll probably try to add more to this or show you the installation when I'm done.